as a German, I'm really afraid of what's happening at the moment. Um, we have been quite confident um, that in the long run we're going to daily business again, but seeing what happened in the last month, considering the challenges of solidarity in the European Union, seeing the uh, tremendous tensions in the European Council and the Council, the decision that have been taken or that not have been taken, uh, the outvoting of uh, a number of countries, and that there's hardly any strategy in the Europe migration and the refugee policy, I'm really afraid. And going beyond this, seeing um, the question what happens to the Schengen Accord and... Uh, to this, sorry? The, the Schengen Accord. Uh -huh. um, so I think uh, we have to be really afraid what has happened in the last three or four months in this respect. And I don't see any clear strategy, neither from the European Commission nor from any other institution of this development for the new future. So maybe you can prove uh, your sure. confidence or your hope in uh, future development. I try to give the, 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 positive, the positive spin. Um, no one is, think, is, is believing, saying, certainly not me, and sorry if I gave you the, this impression that migration it will, is like business as usual. This is a global challenge, but we say also that it is not only a problem for Europe. And I think uh, I tell to my Australian friends that we are happy they, they got uh, 12,000 12, uh, refugee intake additional from, from Syria. So everybody needs to do its own, uh, its own part. It's not something that is only for, for, for Europe. Uh, migration, we believe that is what is happening in Europe at the moment is, uh, is in a sense of uh, uh, emergency deriving from the fact that the situation in Syria hasn't been addressed properly. But we have to solve the question in Damascus and having a political transition there. And we believe if we solve that situation, the, 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 the migration crisis will, will ease. In terms of, of Europe, we are a continent of a half billion people. Eh? We have to put things in, in perspective. Eh? I don't think that uh, hundreds of people can put at, at uh, a risk the social stability of our, of our, of our continent. I don't, I don't think. Turkey hosted two million. Jordan, a country of four million with one million of refugees only from Syria. Not saying for the Palestinian. Lebanon is a country of one, one and point five million people with half million refugees. So these are the situation where you see really a, a question. Europe launched a migration policy in, in we already have a migration policy. Certainly we, we realized that this migration policy is, uh, was not been uh, tailored for an emergency like, like this. And certainly the European Commission made uh, quite a number of proposals. And also some of these proposals are getting into, 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 into action. For example, the question was, people were appalled by the people drowning in the Mediterranean. Hmm? Uh, also, how the smugglers were exploiting uh, these people from bringing from uh, Libya to our coast. In May this year, has been launched a military operation, a military operation, uh, in the middle of the, uh, of the Mediterranean, um, and basically the sea line has been stabilized. That's why the, the, the landline through the Balkans has uh, re-emerged in all this. But again, the response will not be blaming each other, taking an inward position, abolishing Schengen. Uh, it doesn't make, doesn't make sense. This, the policy will be to make our borders secure, our borders uh, uh, impermeable, huh? and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and have a burden sharing for those people who arrive between uh, you know, Hungary, Austria, Italy, Malta, and Cyprus need to be redistributed among member states. So there's a set of policies that the Commission has been proposed. Of course, they are creating, they are finding a lot of, of, of difficulties within the EU. Certainly, the terrorist attack in, in Paris are adding more fuel. But if we remain cool, we say, one, cool in the sense a little bit detached from what happened in Paris. Migration is a problem we have to address. You cannot believe that the migration will be solved by shutting the barrier. Certainly we have to manage our borders much better. And I think in terms of, of the terrorist response, the ministry, ministers of uh, Home and Just, Justice Affairs in Brussels uh, last week take a certain set of measures to make our borders more, more 
secure. End of the story, the problem is open. We are facing immigration, we are trying to remain uh, loyal to our own uh, system, we have an international convention that we have signed and we are trying to make our uh, borders more secure, fingerprint, a rapid response, that might give you the list of all things are done. There's a strategy, but it's difficult to implement and we need, again, the internal dimension and the external dimension to combine, but EU is made by member states. And is, is the member states do not believe uh, in something it's very difficult for us to, to enforce, but I my feeling that is this is a question where the people is believing that again we need more more Europe and not less Europe to solve to solve the problem at least. Long response. That was an interesting you, question. Thank you. Apologies to those of you who have questions. I'm sure in the coffee break, the ambassador will be more than willing to answer those. So, on your behalf, thank you very much. Thank you.